Guys, welcome back to the Independent Investor Channel. I'm going to share with you guys the best opportunity that I've seen in the last 10 years. It is unequivocally the best stock buy in 2022, only to be exacerbated by the recent sell-off. We are going to chronicle highly on holdings in this video. I cannot stress enough how important it is for you guys to take a look at this opportunity. It is flying under the radar and the progress that is being made by this company on all fronts is undeniable. I'm going to give you the goods as quickly as I can in this video to highlight the progress that's been made on this company since coming public the last couple of years and what could unfold over the coming couple of months here probably the next year as this company steps into what is going to be a collaboration with the original equipment manufacturers. They've always got always had their deal with Peterbilt, who's owned by PacAir. They do about 45,000 to 55,000 units per year. And with the new mandates coming down the line for both OEMs and fleets, we are talking about the Class 8 space here, the mandates would suggest that a certain number of those vehicles have to be turned out uh, with an acknowledgement to its uh, green initiative, its ability to provide something as an alternative to diesel, which has dominated the industry over the last hundred years. Guys, for you guys that are new to the Hylion opportunity, Hylion looks to electrify the Class 8 space. Put quite simply, they are not looking to reinvent the entire truck. They are looking to focus on those areas of the truck that need to be reconditioned or reimagined. Okay, so imagine the diesel trucks with their diesel tanks and their diesel engines. Okay, Hylion has taken this idea and removed the fuel tank altogether only to be supplemented with either uh, RNG, which is renewable natural gas, which is making all of the headlines right now, as well as CNG with the ability to potentially move into a fuel agnostic future and eventually into hydrogen fuel cell. Hylion will have the fuel topic covered. It's no problem at all, but it's their approach that sets them apart from the competition right now in that they have partnered with Peterbilt to provide for the remainder of the truck, the, the rest of the truck that doesn't need to be reimagined, all right? So this fuel is meant not to uh, provide power to your regular internal uh, combustion engine powered by diesel, rather your generating unit on board that is actually carried on board to continually power the batteries that is going to power what did they cons con consider to be an electric axle, an e-axle. This is going to provide an amazing amount of torque. It's going to Im improve the payload capacity. And furthermore, it's going to be the very answer that these fleets are looking for to continue to drive the trucks that they like, guys. It cannot be overstated how much these companies like their Freightliners. They like their Kenworths. They like their Peterbilts and they like their Volvos. They like their uh, internationals. They don't want to change any of that, but they do understand that the time is now to begin looking at the transition into an electrified future. And Hylion is working on that end right now. They just collaborated with Cummins, which is a massive international player in the space that are going to help them achieve the CARB and NHTSA certification needed to be able to be offered in mass scale from the OEMs. Now the OEMs that are going to help them get to that end right now and the one that is building the test demos for their fleets. Orders are piling in right now to allow fleets to take a sample of the Hypertruck ERX in their fleets and those orders are only going to increase over time as the mandates roll out and we start to look at some of these looming deadlines into the future for a certain percentage of the OEMs offering to the fleets. Those uh, solutions that are green solutions and uh, lower the carbon emissions footprint for these companies as well as the companies themselves who are mandated to actually purchase a certain percentage of these and integrate them into the fleets. The question is who is going to have the winning solution? And right now there is a fierce debate going on in the industry on who is going to win out in certain industries. 
The class eight space, it, space is the largest of the large of your uh, over the road trucking. It's the ones that you see when you're out on the freeway hauling our freight and goods from point A to point B every single day, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It is the, it is the relied upon key cog in the uh, transportation nexus and it is in, in vital to the environment here that we look at relieving what has been dubbed the number one polluter on this earth and that is the class 8 trucking space and transportation in general. They know they have to change. They are looking for those solutions out there that are looking to provide that change. Now Hylion also has their hybrid EX product which is aimed at supplementing not only existing uh, rigs out there on the road, both uh, um, CNG and diesel, uh, CNG to provide additional horsepower and diesel to provide fuel savings through their regenerative uh, processes and their braking systems for existing and new fleets looking to step into electrification. It's a wonderful product and a segue into what is going to be uh, a move to electrification and in just a few short years we are going to see the examples of that and the money is going to be made right now that's why I'm putting out this video to bring your attention to this industry it's very very important because the headwinds uh, are, are there now but the tailwinds are going to shift and the legislation now that's being proposed is absolutely looking in the direction here of liquefied uh, natural gas, compressed natural gases as a fuel uh, to provide help. Hydrogen fuel cell is being looked at and full electric. But what we need to do is we need to look at the capability of these new technologies and really ask ourselves which of these new technologies can actually supplement the need from the customers. Very, very important to understand that the businesses that are looking to take on these new technologies do not suffer on the bottom line. They are not going to enter into a new solution unless it gives them an even a improved performance uh, and speaks to the bottom line total cost of ownership. And Hylion has the best value proposition right now. It is flying under the radar just shy of $4. I do not expect the stock to stay here for very much longer. Companies valued at about $700 million right now. That is going to gradually increase over time, and as mass orders start to scale up, this company is really going to take advantage of the momentum that's created by that, and there's going to be a lot of wealth created by people who identify now with the movement toward a, a, a greener transportation future, guys. So I'd invite you guys to kick over to Hylion.com. I will uh, share the website in the description below. All the information on the Hylion team, the upper management, the board of governance, and what they bring to the table, a much more in-depth on what I was looking to share with you uh, on both their Hybrid EX product as well as the Hypertruck ERX product. And there is an underground discussion group through the Hylion Discord group as well that is absolutely fantastic. This is going to be one of the most, ex you think Wall Street Bets was uh, exciting? Wait till Hylion takes off, man. The Discord group is going to be that one spot where they have stayed true on this vision uh, uh, for Hylion ever since coming public because we've been able to identify early the opportunity that exists with this company. Guys, if you appreciate the message coming through, I'd invite you to subscribe to the channel, leave the notification bell, share the message with anybody out there as well as leave your comments at the bottom of this video if you think I've missed something or some of the highlights for Hylion. I was looking to showcase that and segue any interested viewer into the Hylion.com website because they do a great job. The website has evolved immensely over the last couple of years and it is a wonderful source of information on what I think is the best buy for 2022 and beyond. Guys, thank you so much for tuning into the message and good luck in your investment future.